previously on Hello to 21. And that's basically how I live my life, being extra, being over the top. Oh my God. So we're on the set of my reveal video, girl. If I can do what I wanna do, it's gonna come out iconic. I ordered 50 of these cards. I literally got 25. This is the only package. These are the shoes. These are the invites. Drop in 850 like it's mother not in today. Commercial available. She's like, please stop harassing me. I got your message the first time last week. There is nothing further I need to discuss with you. But this is heavy. Like, I'm gonna be feeling, I'm gonna try my whole outfit. I'm not gonna show you guys just yet. Um, all you get is this crown, but bitch, I'm gagged. Like, this crown is. Oh, bitch, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So today is the day of my 21st birthday. You can see my jacket in the back, girl. Kind of a little sort of right there hanging up. Oh my God, Queens. So today is finally the day of my damn 21st birthday party and I am so freaking excited. I cannot wait. Like you have no idea how long I've waited for this moment. I work so damn hard for this moment, girl. Saving coins, putting in the work to get this shit on point and done. And here we are right now getting the shit done. I'm currently on my way to Sephora to get my 90 minute makeover. I'm so excited. So the last step before we actually can attend this party is going to get my makeup done. Now I needed to go, I needed some bomb ass makeup for a bomb ass party. And I love to tip my own horn with doing my makeup. Um, did it today. Hello, hi, how are ya? But you know what? I needed it to be extra. I needed it to be over the top. So me and Kelsey set up appointments at Sephora. 90 minute makeover for $90, girl. Let me tell you, when I saw that price, I was like, Ugh. But the outcome slayed the f game. Hands down, the best damn makeover I've ever had. It wasn't just makeup, you had the facial, you had every, I mean, oh, so good, so good, so good. You'll find out. When I went to go buy alcohol, because I had to buy it in the morning, so I went <laughs> at like 10 in the morning to go buy a shit ton of alcohol. Like I literally spent like $120 on alcohol, bitch. And the woman just looked at me like, like you could tell by her facial expression that she was like alcoholic much. And I was like, no, this is for a party, um, a 21st birthday party. Today's my party, bitch. She's just like, why are you buying your own alcohol? I was like, well, I gotta be bougie. So, you know, we're having a bougie party, caterer, venue, hotel, bitch. You already know the sitch. Meal, a month meal. <laughs> Queens, I'm getting like the full on treatment. I just got so much skincare done, like all fresh stuff as well, like the fresh brand, which I honestly absolutely love. So I cannot wait for this beat to go happen. Oh. Let me just say, my makeup has never looked more beat in my entire life. Like, this lighting is not doing it justice. You know what? Let me go out for a minute. Let me go to this light. Bitch, I've never looked so good in my entire life. Ah. Obsessed is not even the word I can describe this makeup look. Girl, I literally, oh, mm, I literally looked in the mirror and I'm like, who is this girl I see in the mirror? Like, hello, hi, how are ya? New girl, new me, new year, 21, how you doing? Oh, girl, it was so good. And the girl that helped us literally squeezed us in last minute. She literally was the sweetest person. She was so kind. She was so personable. The girl literally needed to get a raise. I think she was a manager already, but like, girl, give her like her own damn store because, oh, she was so good. Here is her at. Go follow her. Go look at her makeup looks. They're just so damn bomb, girl. I can't like, I just can't give her enough gratitude of how great of a job she did on both of us.
Okay, so after the makeup, it was on. It was game on. There was no sitting back. There was no relaxing because we had to get shit done ASAP. So after we got our makeup done, we had to hurry back to the hotel, check in, lay our stuff down, and me and Kelsey had to then go to the cake lady and pick up the cake because it wasn't getting delivered. We had to pick it up ourselves. Then we had to go back to the venue and drop the cake off and start decorating because like, obviously I don't have decorators. I didn't pay for decorators or anything like that. I mean, my family was there helping me out and a couple of friends, but like I needed to make sure they knew where to place stuff because we hadn't had a meeting before this. So I know that on my part. Then we had a problem with the Sono system. A Sono system basically is you can hook up your phone, you can hook up whatever device you have that can download Sonos and play music from it. So since I didn't have a DJ, we needed the Sono system. I did a playlist, I did the whole nine yards. Well, my iPhone wasn't hooking up to the system. I couldn't play my library. I like literally couldn't do anything that I had set. I was like, I don't have Spotify. I don't have Spotify premium. I don't need ads at my party. Like I don't have time. This uh, probably was around, I didn't even know, like 5.35 that I'm there. The party started at six. I'm like, I don't have time to make a, a new playlist like with every single song I have on this playlist. Like I just don't, that it's, it's not in the cards. So like, long story short, they needed to update the system that I figured out because girl, they that's their system. Like they should have known. But like, I figured out how to update the system. I was like, it needs to be updated. After we updated it, it was fine. But I literally did not leave the venue. Mind you, I'm at like full beat, and in a tank top and in shorts. Literally, that's it. I literally left my venue at like six o'clock to go back to the hotel and get dressed. So we didn't end up showing to back to my party until like 6.30, which then pushed dinner back, pushing the cake back, pushing dancing back, and the whole nine yards. But once we got to the party, it was game mother on. Hey, bitch. We're doing shots. Grandma, grandma, grandma ready. Look at her. Go, Look at grandma. The go parents, grandma. Go, The two grandma. parents in the back. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright. Shots. That was enough. You taste this, and her face was like, just shy. But taste it. Oh, my face. Oh, man. So <laughs> Why? That's like sweet as hell. Dinner was good. It was a chicken parm. We had stuffed shrimp. We had big ziti, you know, kind of just the generic. We already went over this in the beginning of this series of what we wanted, of what we got. And it wasn't what I wanted, but the catering girl, I don't even want to get into it. After that, we all went and had shots. Not all of us, a good portion of us went to have shots. Like, they didn't have shots on their menu, so they gave us a double shot of all of our shots. I had a double shot of Jack Daniels because my mom's drink was Jack Daniels, and that's literally the only hard alcohol she drank was Jack Daniels. Since she couldn't be there in person, I know she was there in spirit. Her and my meme were dancing it up and Pepe and everybody else. I drank her drink for her just to kind of feel like she was there so we had jack daniels and girl when i tell you i've never had jack daniels before when i tell you that shit was so strong and i was like oh, oh girl you obviously saw the clip but like bitch that shit was knocked me that that was the start of the night happy birthday to you happy birthday Out here. Hell yeah, we fucking out here, dog. What up? 
This red velvet and this carrot cake is to bomb. What? Yes. I'ma do my thing, bang, bang. I'ma shoot them down, baby. Got it, baby. I'm high up off the ground, baby. After the party, I kind of don't remember anything. I was so buzzed, like leaving the party because like people were just giving me drinks. Like I literally sat down at 6.30 and already had three people like buying me drinks and there was three drinks on the table. I was like, boys, girls, let's slow down here. Um, so I was buzzed leaving, like overly, like drunk, drunk leaving the venue. And after that, I don't remember. So we're gonna have my best friends come in and explain what the hell fucking happened after the party. So Devon was already drunk when we left the actual venue and we got back to the hotel. Queens. I had <clears throat> a rough night. Like after dinner, after the party, we went to Duel. Tried to go to the club at Foxwoods. But like we came back to pregame and drank a, a good decent amount of Ciroc. Yeah. And <laughs> when we went to the club, I'll in, well, we didn't get to the club, girl. Let me just tell you. I'll and we were all going to the casino, right? Yeah, we're supposed to go to a cl the club, right? The club. The club. Vaughn just had his hype girls over. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't, even, I don't even remember how long we're at the hotel before we No. Left. Devon literally asked like 400 times to go to the club, but he wasn't getting up to go to the club. He wasn't arranging to go to the club. He was just sitting there getting more intoxicated, which was totally okay. But then I fed Devon Ciroc. Yeah, because he hasn't been sipping on that the entire time we're there anyway. And then we forced him to go to the club and Brianna and Ben drove us and we were all sitting in the back seat and Devon was already slurring his words. Oh, uh, he was gone. And stumbling. Fun. I know, what? but I didn't want to We better make it to the club. <laughs> I, I know, it's kind of long. For real. We're going to make it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to come Do you know what we're doing? <laughs> No. Yeah, we're going to the club. <laughs> to the hotel. They're, they're fucking drunk driving. Are you okay? They're going to be in the paper. Oh, I'm What is happening? Why is it black? Why is the way You're straight? having the best birthday ever. Oh, oh absolutely. Can you tell? We get to the casino and... <laughs> Everybody knows exactly what we're about to describe. Not even, not, not even the best part. But like, you know that one friend who's drank way too much already on the night? And you're basically walking for two people? That was Devon as soon as we got to the casino. Mm -hmm. Then we were like, there's no way they're gonna let him in. Yeah, we were walking in the casino and we were like, Devon, you gotta act normal, dude. <laughs> we were like, you cannot walk by security like this. Like, they will not let you in. So he's like, I'm fine, what are you talking about? Oh, we had to bring him to the bathroom first. Yeah, I, oh yeah, I was like, Devon, you have to go pee. And he was like, I don't have to pee. And I was like, you have to go pee. So I thought he'd sober up, you know? And Devon's a shy peer. <laughs> so he's, 
you know, I was in there and he was like, Devon, you got this. I'm like, shh. And then I have to like carry him over to the sink, the wash sink. I gotta carry him out. <laughs> <laughs> From there, we decided, all right, they're not gonna let him in the club. So we're gonna go to a bar. We didn't go to the bar. We're gonna go to the Scorpion bar. That's, oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. But uh, that didn't work. So then we were walking there. There's like some chairs, like just like big chairs. Devon goes, I need to sit down. And Devon just like sat down in a chair. So we were both like, oh shit. So then I was like, I'll go get him water. And I went to this like really fancy bar, spent like $4 on water. And I was talking to the nice man that sold it to me. And then Thomas was like, oh shit, Devon threw up. <laughs> You're not gonna need that anymore. And it was, <clears throat> not to gross you out, but it was like a gray color. And it was um, shrimp. And it smelled like syrup, <laughs> green apple. I felt like I shoved Ciroc up my nose. It was so bad. So we get to Foxwoods, and all I remember from Foxwoods is not much, but we literally walk to Ben and Jerry's. I sit down, and then I just puke my fucking guts out. <laughs> like, legit, I've never vomited so much in my entire life. We have Devon sitting in the chair. Like, Leaned Dad. over. Everybody's walking by, and they're like, "Yeah, been there, done that." <laughs> yep. And then it's I like, was like he just turned twenty-one. I literally said that to everyone. And there's no way impossible that we're gonna like be able to walk him with the giant garbage bag that they gave us for him. So I'm like, "All right, time to go see if I can get a wheelchair." I'm running around the casino talking to security guards. I'm like, "Where can I get this?" And they're like, "You're gonna have to go all the way over to the hotel." I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm like, hey, need a, I need, I need one of these. And they go, we're gonna need you to fill out this form. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's a wheelchair rental. And it's, it's like trying to like fill out like, I don't even know. I needed to put down my card, like my date of birth. Like it was crazy for a wheelchair. Before Thomas then got the wheelchair or while he was going to get the wheelchair, um, I was standing with Devon while he was like slumped in the chair and um, I fed him some water and before the janitor came back and gave him a bag, he drank the water and threw up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I was getting a wheelchair. And then Thomas came back with the wheelchair. <clears throat> and then we get into the scariest car ride of my life. We wheeled Devon down, try and get him into the car. That was crazy. Devon threw up in the car a couple times. And get back to the hotel. And then we were like, how did we get Devon out of the car? I go to the front office of the hotel <laughs> and I go, you guys got a wheelchair? <laughs> and they're like, we have a cart. <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> like a laundry cart. <laughs> or like a cart that's like, like a flat top on it or something. I'm like, if I'm gonna have to like lay him on. There's no way this is gonna work. A flat top would have been so good. So we got Gary's drunk ass to the room mm -hmm. and we put him on the bed and then he like was on his stomach so then we like i was like devon wake the fuck up and move <laughs> over and then he did and he was like out yeah he slept with the trash can that night and left his makeup right next to it and then he was hung over oh yeah that was a fun part <laughs> I... but i mean now if you can see my fucking makeup this is my mood right now legit and no makeup wipes, so I just had to like wash it off with water. However, my head is spinning today, obviously, and I feel like puking every five fucking minutes. This is why Thomas is driving. Yeah, but you know, it's all right. Exactly, you only turn 21 once, so. He didn't really embarrass himself that bad. Live it the fuck up. So I'm gonna go now and probably sleep the rest of the day. After the car ride, I went to Thomas's house because I was just like, wasn't in the mood to still be driving. And I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna chill at your house. They just had moved into a new house, like probably a week and a half, maybe two weeks before my party, they had just moved into this new house. And I literally sat down on their couch and I was like, oh no. I was like, where's your bathroom, please? And I literally went to the bathroom and puked. I literally, in their new, house. I was the first one to puke. 
and the toilet had just been done like cleaning like the blue stuff was still in there it was minty and literally i was just like ruined <laughs> thomas's mom if you're watching this i'm sorry <laughs> and then he threw up at thomas's house uh, <laughs> <laughs> you christened the bathroom you're the first one to puke in my new house i thought for sure that'd be me but nope like, I'm so <laughs> glad you threw up when you did because that whole night. Oh my god! If we went to the bar and you threw up in the bar, or like, could you imagine me getting to the club? <clears throat> oh my lord! Right on the dance floor. Blech. That would have ruined that would everybody's <laughs> night. <laughs> I had so much fun creating this party from party planning to even the downs like that got us to where we went and I'm so appreciative to everything the whole process and everyone that came out and for you guys to continuously support this series and watch the series from front to back and I'm just so excited that I was able to document and share this journey with you guys and I'm just like so grateful I'm so happy that this party was a success it did have a lot of hiccups and it didn't quite go as well I planned, but it was still a party nonetheless and it was still fun and I was still surrounded by the people that mattered the most. And I just am like so thankful for that. And um, so yeah, this concludes the end of this series. I hope you guys did like this series. And until next time, Queens, thank you again so much for watching this series and I love you guys so much. Mwah.